Welcome back to the channel guys. This morning I'm making a quick video on how to change the knives on a portable planer. This is a uh, Delta 12 inch model uh, 22540. Pretty common um, portable planer that's out there or some people call it a lunchbox planer. Kind of zoom out here and show you what it looks like. This is a really common style out there portable planers and, and changing the knives on these is pretty easy um, tools we need are a 5 16 open end wrench it also helps if you have a little bit smaller wrench this is a um, one of those little stubby wrenches or ignition wrenches what I think they call them sometimes you see how thin this one is this is gonna help get down in there to loosen these um, lock nuts that hold the blades in place and you need your blade setting jig hopefully you've got this with your planer if you don't it's going to be a little harder um, and you want to try to make something or, or, or get something like this but but basically this is what indexes the blade to the cutter head so that your blade is at the proper height and is parallel on both sides so to get started going to loosen up. There are um, a bunch of lock nuts here on the drum of the cutter head that hold the blade in place. And we're just going to loosen these up. This is where that small wrench is going to be handy to get in there. Okay, so almost get, got all these loosened up and this little thin wrench really shines getting in this tight spot space to get in there you want to take your time on these you don't want to round over the the nuts or, or strip out the threads on this because if you do it's pretty much you're gonna have to buy a new locking bar for the blade and I don't know how easy those are to come by. But once you get all these loosened up, you notice the blade's got a little bit of slack to it there. Should be able to just reach in and carefully start pulling it out. You want to be super careful. Again, these are sharp. Uh, so we've got the blade out. In this case, these blades are two-sided. They've got two edges. This edge hasn't been used yet, so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and turn it around. And clean some of this uh, junk off the back here but I can flip this around and put in the same blade with a fresh edge before I have to replace it or sharpen it okay and if you got a single edge blade knife blade this is where you want to just grab a new one and put it in but if you got a, a double edge you can clean it up and turn it around if your other edge hasn't been used yet and add this one's a lot sharper than this side Not terrible on this side but starting to get a little chatter on it a few little nicks on there so I'm just going to carefully slide this back into the groove here okay and now your cutter head has got two little springs that push back I don't know Let's see that let me zoom in here you can see the blade kind of rebounds out all right and that's those two springs in there that are pushing back on it so now we've got it in zoom back out we've got the blade in the cutter head all right it's moving freely and it's pushing back out and that's important now we're just going to use our our indexing jig all right push it on the put it on the blade and, and the round part is going to index off the drum and this little notch part is going to push the blade to the proper height we get it in there and we just push until it's seated firmly on the cutter head you don't need to push super hard just enough to seat the jig see right down in there where the jig is touching the cutter head and then that little notch is holding the blade at the right height now we're going to start tightening these um, nuts back up hold the blade at this height so 
though, and I start with the two outside lock nuts to get them snug. And I'm not tightening these all the way up yet. I'm just getting them snug so my blade doesn't move. And I'm going to go into one of these ones here in the middle and get it snug. Just enough tension to where the blade's not going to move if I let go of this jig. Okay, I think that's good. All right, let me zoom in here for you. Now if you look, kind of hard to see from this angle, but because the head of the jig is in the way. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. But you can kind of you can kind of see the idea the, the idea of the, the jig here, how it holds the blade at the right height in relation to the cutter head. Okay, so now I got some tension on my bolts. I can take the jig away there. I put some tension on this tripod. Sorry about that. All right, now I can go back and evenly tighten all the screws or all the nuts that I haven't tightened yet until they get snug. And the idea is I want to put equal tension as I go around. That one's got tension on it. This one hasn't yet. Okay. Now they all have a little bit of tension. I'm just going to go one by one and start tightening them up a little bit at a time. And again, the idea is equal tension each time. And that's it. Um, again, we put the jig back on there just to verify that the blade is set properly. Looks good. That's all there is to it. Really, um, it's simpler than I thought it would be. Um, I think this is one of those jobs that for some people might be slightly intimidating, but it's really not too bad if you have the proper tools and the patience to do it correctly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now, and then I'll run some test pieces through this in a little bit to see how it's doing. Thanks for watching. Take care.